Yo, what is going on guys? It's Bruin Steel here and welcome back to another post-game video for my Pittsburgh Steelers. And we get the job done. It was a sloppy win, but I'll take it, whatever. But we improved to 4-7 and seven on the season as we beat the Indianapolis Colts 24-17 in a really sloppy way. Look, I, I don't know what else I can say about this game, but you know, look, Kenny Pickett played okay, I guess. Um, he played great in the first half, and then just all of a sudden, Matt Canada, like always in the third half, it just it didn't look good there. But overall, the Steelers hold on for the win, but it was just an ugly win. Um, we just we we did so well in the first half, and then the second half happened. It just it was just an absolute collapse, and it just that's just that. Um, and look, Kenny Pickett, I said about this Kenny about Kenny Pickett so many times. Look, he's progressing as a quarterback, and I think he is. He's finding ways to get the first down. He's using his legs a lot now. He hasn't threw an interception since, I think, the, before the bye week or after the bye week. I don't know, but the last time he threw an interception was against the Eagles. But he, this guy, Kenny Pickett, is progressing, and that's what I like to see. Um, DJ Wall obviously was kind of quiet in this game. Um, you know, the first half was looks great, looked the first half looked great for the Pittsburgh Steelers, but once the second half started, the third quarter didn't look good. Um, we almost, like, it's Mike Tomlin that it just, he plays all the time down to competition, and he plays conservative football, and we were up by a bunch. We were up, like, 16-3. to We had a blocked field goal, and then the third period come, we played so much conservative football, and it's just, we almost took it away. The Colts got two touchdowns in the third quarter. Um, it just it just was looking bad. Off oh, by the way, we um almost went we almost um were we almost went down in this game, but thankfully they were forced to fumble, which we couldn't capitalize. It was just a party of third and outs in the third quarter, and uh, um um obviously the big story is Najee Harris had one touchdown. Um, and Benny Smell had one touchdown, and the story was the rushing game. They um, both spell. Um, Najee Harris went out with the injury, and it was just. Hopefully, it's not that serious. It'll be a huge. It'll be a huge blow if Najee Harris were to skip a couple games. He it's looking that he might skip um, miss a, a few games, but um, overall the run game was great. Benny Smell. And, and Anthony McFarlane Jr. are stepped up. Um, they both had great runs. You know, Benny Smell had a touchdown and Najee Harris had a touchdown. Um, you know, after Najee went down, went out, Benny Smell and Anthony McFarlane stepped in and had some great runs. Um, it, it just, this team played great in the first half. And then ever since that third period, I mean, look, we were up by 16-3. to three, And the Colts had the lead. We just kind of collapsed, and then the Colts just came way back. They just came back. Um, Matt Ryan threw an interception. I believe it was towards the beginning of the game. Oh, yeah, by the way, George Pickens had an amazing catch in the first quarter. Um, Matt Ryan threw one interception. I believe it was James Pierre who had the interception for the Steelers. And um, Jonathan Taylor um, had one touchdown, and Michael Pitt, Man, Junior had the second touchdown, um, and I'm like, oh my god, are we seriously going to choke this? But the Steelers come right down the field, and we score with, I believe it was Snell, um, and then I think it was Najee Harris, I can't remember. I was at work, I wasn't even watching the game, but um, we scored a touchdown, and we get the two-point conversion with George Pickens, and George Pickens is a stud, man. He had an unbelievable catch. Kenny Pickett threw it deep to him to the right side. He somehow caught it. You're looking at both camera angles, and you see how the hell did this guy catch it? George Pickens is a stud, man. Um, obviously, like I said, DJ Watt was a little quiet in this game. Um, but still, overall, this we got the job done, and we improved to 4-7. and seven. And look, I'm not going to say, oh, this team's going to, this record, this win's not going to turn your season away. You got the Falcons, you haven't played Baltimore twice. You got the Panthers, you play, I believe, the Browns one more time, the last season of the, the last game of the season. Um, Kenny Pickett, I love his performance in this game, the way that he can avoid sacks and then just 
if there's no one open, I'm just going to take the first down by itself, by myself. Um, and, and that's just that. Deontay Johnson had some great catches. Matt Fryer moves. And um, the story, obviously, is um, Najee Harris went out with a, a dominant, more, no, a domino injury, whatever. And hopefully it's not too serious. So, um, and the, the thing that I, the thing that just, that third quarter was just, the Matt Canada play calling was awful. It just, we weren't playing smart. The certain out party, like I said, and it just, the, the nonstop field goals. We could easily, there was one drive, there's one perfect drive. We could have, you know, put away this game because we could have gone up by like, what, two touchdowns or something. We had this great drive, but we just couldn't get the job done. Um, we were literally on like, the third row, that first and goal, second goal, third and goal, fourth and goal, and then after that, we just couldn't get it in. We turned the ball over, and then just we, thankfully, we turned the ball over. We forced a turnover. I think it was a fumble um, by Jonathan Taylor, I think it was. I think it was Jonathan Taylor. I don't remember, but that was a, we caught a huge break there, and I believe there was a huge call on the Colts or whatever, I don't know what the call was. But overall, um, Matt Ryan is 0-4 against us now. Um, and look, we always beat the Colts. We always own them. I don't even remember the last time the Colts beat us. I think it was when they had the old name, the Baltimore Colts, whatever. But Matt Ryan threw one interception. Like I said, I think it was James Pierre. It was an amazing interception. Um, Matt Ryan had one touchdown. John Taylor... Had one, and then it was um, Michael Pittman Jr. Um, like the going into this game, I knew the Colts were great fighters, and then that that's just that. Um, but at the end of the game, I don't know what happened, but the Colts time management was so bad. I don't know what it is, but they just like they you only use one of their three time timeouts at the end of the game. It just I saw like my Tom and look. No mistake, Mike Tomlin has horrible time management, but the Colts' time management makes Mike Tomlin look like MVP. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Like the Colts' time management at the end of the game is, was so bad. Like it, their time management looked made Mike Tomlin look like a star. Like holy crap! <laughs> oh, um, but overall, the Steelers played great. It just that third quarter, just. They always come. They always play down to competition. They always make mistakes. And look, props to Kenny Pickett. This guy's just a rookie. This guy, look, he made rookie mistakes. But this game, he's he's not throwing interceptions. I think it's like I said, the last interception he. Let me look it up because I think his last interception that he threw was against the Eagles. Let me see. Um, yeah, he threw an interception against the Eagles. Um. But look, he's making great decisions. This was all in the first half, but the second half, it just, it just didn't look good. And look, it's great that after we were down seventeen to sixteen, they, we came back and scored the touchdown and a two point conversion. Just, that, that, that's just that. Set. Um, but anyways, overall, a unbelievable game. Um, four and seven. We, this is our fourth win of the year. Um, look, win or lose, this team's probably not going to make the playoff, but we still can make. Something happened, you know, with a winning season, but we don't know yet, but this team still has a lot of work to do. Um, obviously, I don't think this team is playoff material. We still have the issues that we have to fix with the play calling with by Matt Canada. But overall, um, it was a, well, I didn't really watch the game, but I watched highlights. It was a great game. Um, we have to just, I, we just have to see the update on Najee Harris. If um, Najee Harris is out, we have to see who will step in. Definitely put, Benny Smell, Anthony McFarland, the way that he, they played was unbelievable. Um, I hope to see more of, um, you know, Jalen Warren. Um, I don't even know if Jalen Warren was playing in this game. I don't think he was. Um, but guys like Benny Smell stepped up. Guys like Anthony McFarland stepped up. Um, you know, that's just that. But anyways, I'm not going to talk too much about this game. The Steelers get the job done on a Monday night. And Mike Tomlin's record on Monday night just went up by a bit. Um, and that's just that. Um, what a great game. Well, I'm not too excited because this was a sloppy win. But um, it was a good win. 
But um, we go four and seven, and we got to travel down to Georgia to play the Atlanta Falcons. And you know, look, it's gonna be. You know, people are saying that oh, the Falcons are gonna be a, a hit, a home run. You know, but look, the Falcons play tough. It's gonna be interesting to see um, what would happen if the Steelers actually win this game. Um, we'll be like five and seven, and then you know, we I don't know if we can turn our season around. But next week we got the Atlanta Falcons. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see. But anyways, that's my post game video. The Steelers get a sloppy win, twenty four to seventeen. Uh, Monday night football yesterday night um, But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week for my post game video against the Falcons. See you guys later